Yo, what is going on, Gromies? Hope y'all are doing well, growing well. Now, Gromies, today we got a secret package to upgrade our 2x2 two two grow, which is the clone and vegetation setup. Recently in that grow, I haven't been doing a good job watering at all, and all my rooted clones are dying, so I need something to help me with watering, which is why I have this brand new indoor auto drip irrigation kit from Rainpoint. Essentially, this little auto dripper drops water on a timer and allows me to water up to 20 different separate pots, which is pretty damn awesome. And it's a small little device that can easily be put somewhere inside your tent. But yeah, Gromi's opening up the box and checking out the product. Let's see, what is our first impression? So as we can see, it's packed pretty, pretty tight in there and pretty nice and very secure right off the bat. The first thing that we see is the user manual, which of course is going to tell us how to use this product and how to set it up. And then the next thing is the actual main device itself, which fits in your hand and is pretty small. Then we have all the plastic dripper connector pieces, which is going to connect the tubing and allow us to direct water where we need to. Uh, it looks like in this one, we have three millimeter and four millimeter. So two different types of tubing this time. On the last Rainpoint device, there was only one, but this one has two. And then of course we have the connectors and the water filters and stoppers, which again are important to help direct the flow of water. And then of course, the last thing we have is the mount and the charging cable. But yeah, Gromi's first impression, I'm like, okay, everything looks pretty neatly packed. I can't wait to get it unboxed and see what is this about? So let's do that. All right, so as we can see, here are all our packages lined up right in front of us. And the first one that we're taking out is the tubing. Now, in this tubing, there's two different types. There's a three millimeter and a four millimeter. So very important to make sure that you're using the right size tubing for the right size connectors. So that way you don't have any water leaks, right? You got to use the right size. And that's important because you need tight connections when you're working with water. And that's a big deal is to not have water spilling. So make sure you use the right tubes. But anyways, Gromies, moving on to the main device, we can see that we have a large display controller, which controls all the water settings digitally on a timer and a very intricate timer at that. On the front screen, we have many buttons which allow us to increase and decrease values, confirm values, and manually set up watering systems. So pretty damn cool. And there's also a big green dial to put it in specific modes. The front of this controller has quite a bit going on, but it's definitely simple and easy to use. Now looking on the right side, that's where we see the USB-C charging point. And dude, I'm super glad they went with USB-C. And then on the left side, we have the in and out outputs for our water flow, which is pretty damn cool. Super compact, small controller device, large display, and it controls itself. It's pretty cool. I like this little controller. It's a good size, right? It's a nice small size. And also on the back, there is a connector, which allows the controller to be hanging from your bucket, from your tent, wherever you want to hang it. So that's pretty cool as well. And then finally in the next bag, of course, this is USB-C. So we have a charging cable to provide power to this controller. And also it does not have to be plugged in the whole time. It does have a battery. This is just a charging cable, not necessarily the power cable, which I think is a very nice choice because sometimes you might need to do something portable with this. So pretty cool. Yeah, USB-C, absolutely easy. Just plug straight in. You can see off the first plug-in, it automatically recognized that, oh, something got plugged into it, uh, but it is off right now. And eventually we will turn on the device. Now the next package that we have, these again are all the connectors. And dude, it may look like, whoa, that's a lot of connectors. That's a lot of moving things. But don't worry, as we set it up, it's pretty it's pretty easy. But anyways, Gromies, let's take a closer look at this dial. Since there's quite a bit of options that we could choose. As we can see right now, we're currently in the off mode and we can switch it to set the clock, set a start time, determine how long uh, we want a water session to be and how often we want our water session to be. So all the settings are super easy to adjust and change. But where are we going to be using this Rainpoint device? As I said in the beginning of the video, uh, in my 2x2 two two clone tent, I'm not gonna lie, Gromies, I've been having a struggle keeping up with water. Uh, I've been trying to do a lot of things in my life, you know, getting the purple mindset packages. I've been trying to keep up with the YouTube channel, trying to keep up with family, friends, girlfriend, dogs, 
everything in real life, it's just a lot, right? So I need something that's going to automatically take care of my plants and automatically water my clones for me, which is why I was excited to test out this Rainpoint automatic irrigation controller and system. But yeah, now it's time to actually take everything out of the box, get it all set up, and see how it's gonna work out in this two x two tent. Now, looking at this two x two tent, we can see we have some absolutely beautiful plants in there, but they are suffering a little bit, and that's purely because the soil is bone dry. Like I said before, Gromies, I'm, I'm not trying to be a broken record, but we have not been able to keep up with all the work of every single plant in every single tent. So I'm really glad to be trying out this automatic watering system. It's nice and tidy and small and will work very easily for a whole bunch of different plants inside this nice two by two tent. And yeah, we can see that overall, these plants are pretty much healthy in here. It's just really, you know, making sure they have a consistent watering for the roots. So they don't have to keep going through that, oh, drying out and dying and then having to heal and then the water heals them and they dry out and die again and they don't get food. So now it looks like there's no food in the medium and all that type of thing. But yeah, so we're going to attach the irrigation to multiple plants, take care of the clones in the bucket to the left, and also take care of this plant that I got for my girlfriend. It's my girlfriend's plant. Uh, she hasn't done the best job watering it. But I want to keep it alive for her because I know whenever she's ready to grow it, she's going to love it and appreciate it. Especially in her office. So that's the plan is to take care of this plant, revitalize it again, get it super healthy. And then we can move it to her office. So yeah, Grummies, we have this little 2x2 two two tent. We have these clones that have died. Some of these clones actually did survive. Some of them died. Uh, but the goal is to make sure they don't dry out and die at all again. Because we have some absolutely amazing cuts in here that we need to preserve. So let's do that. So Gromies, the first thing that we have to do is set up a water supply. And in this case, I'm just going to be using a small Home Depot bucket. And that'll be able to hold all the water perfectly fine. Ideally, you should use filtered water or RO water. Uh, but I have used the Rainpoint in the past with tap water that has been bubbled and somewhat filtered and so that's what we're gonna be doing is filling up our bucket and once our bucket has been filled up we can kind of see it's a starting idea okay this is how the rain point's gonna be it's gonna be hanging on the side of the bucket it's gonna have that charging connector so we'll have a tube going into the water and then we'll have multiple tubes going across all the plants all right and now that we've gotten our device set up and everything pretty much close to being set up it's time to get everything wired up get everything set up like it's supposed to be right like the final setup so yeah first things first plug in the power and get the power to this device because i don't ever want it to die i don't mind it being completely on a charger forever so we're gonna put it on a charger that way it never dies we never have to worry about it it's gonna water and take care of the clones probably for like two to three weeks to a month without me having to do anything which is damn awesome dude that's saves a lot of time and a lot of hard work so plugging in the device getting it set up all proper and of course as we can see we still have the plastic protector on so gotta remove that and i know that's one of the most satisfying things is when you get a new device and you take off the beautiful screen protector but yeah there we go looks fantastic uh i'm super excited to get water flowing through this thing so let's do that okay groomies now to set up this device again we're gonna hang it on the bucket now it's time to size out the tubing and determine how long does it need to be from here? How long does it need to be from there? And we're going to cut our tubes and connect our connectors accordingly until we're all done. Now, after connecting everything, which was pretty easy and only took a couple minutes, we can see we have lines running to the bucket, to the controller, and then to every single plant perfectly. So dude, super excited. And then of course, really excited about taking care of this plant in the back which is going to need a lot more water. Now, Gromies, the cool thing about this controller is you can easily see all the features and settings just by looking at the main screen. You can see the next watering hour countdown. You can see when the plant start time is. You can see how long it's going to be watering. And you can see how often it's going to be watering. So it's more of like a cycle and soak versus a traditional continuous watering method. And the cool thing about this Rainpoint device is it provides strong even flow to the very end, all the way throughout every single connection. So pretty cool. It's a very powerful small device that gets water to every single part evenly. But yeah, Gromies, this is how my setup looks right now. We got everything connected. All the plants have water. Um, I also decided to add an airstone filter. So that way the water is getting continuously oxygenated 
And yeah, dude, I think this is like, this is the perfect dream setup for an automatic watering system, you know what I mean? So that's another good thing too, Gromies, is every single plant receives the same amount of water. So the first plant's not gonna get more water than the last plant, every single plant's gonna get the same amount of water. It's pretty damn awesome. And also the cool thing with the programming is you can set it to water every couple hours, you can set it to water once a week, it, literally any single, any single type of setup that you need this controller can be accustomed to do for you. And it waters in the intervals to save water and promote healthier roots instead of dripping water all day. So yeah, Gromius, there we go. This is the new setup in this two by two clone tent slash veg tent. This is where I'm going to, you know, plants that necessarily I can't take care of and give a whole bunch of attention to. I now have an automatic watering system to do that for me and help me stay on top of my game. So dude, pretty excited to be trying out this Rainpoint device. I had the other Rainpoint solar panel pump which was also a really cool device so glad to have the new rain point controller uh with the large display and everything it's really nice but anyways gromies that's it for this two by two upgrade video hopefully you know this water system does really well for me and it really helps save me time and gives me the results that i'm needing i think with the airstone especially it's gonna help and everything's set up properly so but anyways gromies as always thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video Please leave a like and comment. If you haven't seen my other growth slash smoke reports, check those out. Keep it up out there, Gromies. And stay motivated in this beautiful, medicinal hobby. Hashtag Gromy Gang. And also, Gromies, we do have memberships on YouTube now. If you guys want to be a member of the YouTube channel, please be sure to join the membership. Now, Gromies, the cool thing about the YouTube membership is it allows you to support growers mindset through YouTube, making it super easy for you. And it also allows super chat. So if you guys wanna donate in the chat, leave a little comment, you guys can. It's just awesome, man. So could not be more grateful, more blessed, more happy than anything to finally be a YouTube partner. What this means is there's gonna be member only videos as well. So if you are a member, you will get specific videos that the public is not gonna be able to see, which is pretty cool. And they're gonna be like more in depth videos. I'm thinking of what I'm thinking about doing, honestly, I wanna do like daily videos. I wanna do like daily update videos where I just show you guys the tent every single day. And that'll be the member only videos. But let me know what you guys think about that. Or maybe I won't make those member only. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out. But there will be member only videos that'll be. It's like having the scoop on Grower's Mindset. So if you guys wanna be part of the membership, join the membership. This is an absolute YouTube blessing. This could change my life. I can't be more grateful to have it. I can't be, if, even if you guys just like, watch, and comment the videos, or just watching, you know, that's all I really care about. But anyways, become a YouTube member for Grower's Mindset. And yeah, dude, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the support. It means the world to me that, you know, we're chasing this dream of YouTube. But peace out, Grammys.